Hello guys, here CT7 AHV. Today I have the CG3000 with me, bought at uh, Wimo on Germany. And today I will review and install to test this antenna tuner. Okay, the manual from CG antenna. I think this is three meters of power wire. Power cable, I think, is about three meters. U bolts, okay, to fix the unit. And here we have the ITU. Okay, we have here a UHJ plug, a power connector, very similar, very similar, no, the same of uh, some radios, a uh, microphone connector, here the ground lug, and here the antenna, the wire lug to, to connect the, the wire antenna. This is a real uh, antenna coupler, okay? It will couple the antenna wire directly to your coax. So there is no match box near uh, the radio how the tuning unit is on the feeding um, bottom of the antenna okay this antenna is on uh, this antenna tuner is um, on the feeding point of your antenna okay next i will open this unit and show you how it is inside i think i will uh, in future uh, change uh, the relays and the coils inside because the inductor um, inductors inside the antenna tuners are the uh, the worst part are the component with uh, big uh, losses of power uh, and I want to um, minimize the losses inside the unit okay so that's it for now let's go open this thing okay so now we have the tuner without bolts and i will open okay very good is a clean installation i hope you can see we have here our ground connection is soldered to the ground on the PCB. We have here the UHF connector here. The signal and the ground goes to the PCB ground. Okay. Here we have the power connector we have three wires I will explain later we have the micro processor from ATML we have other relays here and then we have here The antenna wire lug connected here on the PCB. Like I said before, 
the inductor on an antenna tuner is a lossy uh, component because it works with high currents instead of the capacitors which work with uh, high voltages and they can handle it but inductors so extensive like, like this and like this and like this these inductors means some power loss and I will measure the inductance of each one and I think I can make a toroidal um, inductor with less turns and with a car so uh, I can minimize the losses on this antenna tuner here I see this is a SWR detector here here we have three wires plus 12 volt ground and this yellow wire is for LED uh, because there is a, a control box um, sold separately uh, and cost 50 euro I think it's pretty much it's just a box with one LED and the switch the switch turns on and off the antenna turner and the LED lights up when the turner finished tuning okay when the turner is ready the LED blinks up so it is very expensive for just one box with one switch and one LED so I can do it by myself I did not bought it if I need it uh, sorry if I will need one I can do it no problem okay uh, these relays the bigger one are Chinese a reference HF 36 F and the small ones JZC 32 F okay I think about the change all these relays because this is a Chinese cheap ones and I, I would like to use Omron uh, relays with the silver plated contacts again less loss in power when transmitting okay uh, this is a P network tuner so in the input we have here this these capacitors will be switched to the ground from the, in, the inlet to the ground then we have a series of one or more inductors to, uh, in series and then on the output we have again capacitors one or more will be switched to the ground between the output and the ground okay because this is a p network circuit okay so that's it okay guys now i have the antenna tuner installed and connected and i will show you how i have this uh, now okay here you can see this is my fiberglass mast with 10 meters of wire okay it goes down here and here I have the wire going to 
the output of my antenna tuner CG3000 on that side this, this wire goes to the ground rod power connector with 12 volts DC and UHF connector and that's it uh, this takes about uh, 5 seconds to 10 seconds first tuning and then uh, you have uh, SWR below 1.5 or up to 1.5 okay i'm on my holidays house you can see the landscape from here okay and i can tune from 80 to 10 meters with 10 meters of wire And now I will operate with this. This is a very simple antenna. is good for portable operation. At my shack, I prefer, of course, to use high gain and resonant antennas. I have Yagi's and I have Ultrabeam antenna but for portable or for a weekend or holidays i want to use this setup i also will um, try this setup um, this antenna tuner on my car with three meters whip and see how it performs and how it tunes okay so that uh, probably will be the next video. 73, thank you for watching. I hope you find this helpful and uh, sub subscribe to my channel to keep you updated for my next videos. See you!